Okay, according to a report from Variety, it looks like Warren Beatty is interested in making a sequel to Dick Tracy. After receiving an award at CinemaCon, Beatty was asked about the potential sequel, with Beatty confirming one in development. Producer Arden Milchin, producer of Beatty's latest Howard Hughes biopic, was a little more specific, confirming the sequel has been discussed that it could be completed within two years. Perry, buy or sell Dick Tracy Part 2? I'm selling it just because I've never seen Dick Tracy part one wow. or anything that came before it. So I I mean, I just kind of don't care. But I almost want it to happen just for Warren Beatty's sake, just because he went through that whole legal drama with it and finally got the rights. And he's been talking about it for so long. The poor guy. And he hasn't directed a movie, I think, since uh, since Bullworth. What was that, like late 90s? Mm-hmm. It's it's about time he gets to direct something. I don't know if... Uh, or or the, he directed the uh, the one that's coming out later this year. There's a Howard Hughes biopic. The, the, un, he's been the working untitled on. Har- yeah. Howard Hughes biopic. It's coming out in the fall, I think, which has a great cast. All right, I want him to make it because he's worked so hard to get these rights back. But like, I'm much more excited for that movie coming out, which has a killer cast. It's got like Alan Baldwin, Alden Ehrenreich, who we need to be seeing more of right now in case he does get cast in a certain role. So <laughs> I want to see what he's capable of. And it's probably also worth noting that even though the the guy from New Regency, the owner of New Regency, said that he thinks it could be completed in two years Warren Beatty was quoted as saying something like uh, he's serious about it but he's slow he's slow about these things so they contradict each other so even if they are considering doing this who knows when we'll get it yeah, I'm going to sell this as well. I didn't really care for for the movie. I remember seeing it when I was younger. I liked the look of it and the feel of it, but I didn't care for the movie. I actually ended up liking I went to Disneyland, and they had kind of a live kind of you know stage version of it where you kind of sit down and 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 watch it them perform i actually like that more than the movie <laughs> so that that tells you something yeah in two two years no way there's no way that a dick tracy movie is coming out in two years mark yeah it's a sell for me i just i do not care about dick tracy at all i remember it was so popular it, the movie did very well when it came out and i was a little kid and so we wanted to go see this popular movie everybody was talking about and i just did not get it i mean a lot of it went over my head because i was so little but it's also like i just think it's a dated comic book strip from a different time and it just doesn't translate into an audience what they would want to see today i get you can go back and have like a a classic feel to it and it's it's very comic book worldy it felt a lot like tim burton's batman in a different universe and i i just don't i don't know why you would want to focus on this like like if warren Beatty grew up reading dick tracy that's awesome but it's just like the dude looks like curious george's you know handler he doesn't look (laughs) like there's anything that i'd care about seeing in a movie and maybe if they make it like we always say hey maybe there's not an audience for this on the big screen you can do like a netflix or a hulu thing with it like make it a, a a small screen series that could be a little more interesting i just don't know that there's any appetite at the box office for another dick tracy movie yeah hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider